this is a faithful saying, and these things I want you to affirm constantly. So, there is a faithful saying, number one, and then there are things you need to affirm constantly. Constantly. Consistency is a big challenge to most Christians. So let me affirm them. Let me insist. Let me stress them now. You cannot say you understand that you are a sinner, desperate, lost, hurting, destined for hell without any hope, without any help. Then God came through for you he paid all your sins at the cross and you were saved at the time you believed in Christ Jesus. You cannot say you understand that and you fail to commit your life to him. Because the very moment that you get again, now you have a new life and you can tell God now, since you have given me a new life, I want to make a choice, a personal choice to commit the new life in serving you. We want, when we pray, God answers. When we ask, he gives. When we cry, he wipes our tears. But when he tells you, get committed to my service, you say you are busy. You are busy for him. We want to have doctrine in our mind but never have the opportunity to apply the doctrine in our lives, and you want God to respond to you as if you are his master. If you are employed in an office, and you are supposed to report at 8, and leave at 5, if you start reporting at 10, it will not be long before you lose your job. I don't know if you do an evaluation of your life and ask yourself, how serious am I with my Savior, with my Master? How committed am I with God? I don't know if you assess your spiritual life, your spiritual walk, and ask yourself, am I serious that I understand the finished work of the cross? Do I live like I know what happened on the cross? Do I live like I've been rescued, delivered, saved from hell? From the kingdom of Satan. Do I look like I understand that? It's important, brethren, to start assessing our lives. We ask ourselves, how comes? How comes God is not doing this for me? How comes? What are you doing? How are you responding to his finished work at the cross? God is not a genie that you come and give a few coins here, then can I say, God, because I've given God do this for me? No. No, 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 no. God cannot do that. 